Hi, this is DV. It's uh, Tuesday morning, the 28th. About, I don't know, 7. seven oh eight. Looks like there's some snow on the ground. My My little girl, which is my cat, I call her my little girl. Cause I gotta go talk to her. I talk to her at least once a day. I'll go back. Anyway, I wanted to make this video. Every day I wake up and I try to bargain with these people, almost bargain with them, trying to say something to shock them or, or to entice them. Or to, mostly I talk about God. I talk about justice. Because like I said before, when crisis hits you like, to, like this, when crisis hits you, what you want to do is you want to turn to God. Because you don't, there's no one else. There's really no one else. So we turn to him. We turn to him because we need that strength. This is the thing, and I know it'll make us feel special as victims. Some of us, some of us are we're still appalled, some of us are disgusted, some of us are angry. I'm angry at the unfairness of this whole thing. Because these people are not just hurting my body, they're putting my life on hold. All my efforts are being thwarted, especially online. Especially online. Which means I'm kind of stuck in a situation I don't want to be in. I'm grateful for. But I would rather be at this age in my life. What, because I'm capable of it. This is the thing. I want this to be known as God is my witness above. And you people on YouTube. Who are being targeted. These people are stopping putting my life on hold because I'm lazy or not because there's a lack of something to do but they're they're destroying everything I try to build deliberately I put connect the dot from A to B they're erasing it or partially erasing it where there's not a, there's not a connection this is my truth this is my reality this has been my reality for three and a half years and they're not stopping. And I'm begging every day. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. And that's like the hardest thing to do. There's one person in this group of people. <clears throat> seems like a Guyanese man. Who always has this hint, this superiority. He's a superior human being. Like he's ascended somewhere deep in the recesses of his mind. And if he has to stop, I must understand that he is being merciful. This man is not living in a video game. This is not biblical prophecy. This is human nature. There's empathy, sympathy. Take empathy and sympathy out of it. A complete narcissist. A complete person who's unfeeling, uncaring, or indifferent. There's a criminal activity, the chances, if they're caught, spend the rest of their life in prison. There's a feeling of a sin, of losing one's soul, even if it's just a verbal thing, a verbiage that makes sense. They don't have to be emotionally gravitating towards that reality or feeling the fear of burning in hell or being separated from heaven. logic take emotion out of it take logic out of it what do you have that they can that we can attribute to this these this this this, this set this set of human beings 
as an, an enticement for them to stop. The fact that the human being that they're torturing is begging day and night, day and night, day and night, please stop, please stop, please stop hurting me. If you're punching someone and you're feeling good and the person is bleeding and crying, there's two things going on here. It's you feeling some kind of pleasure from doing that. The person, on the other hand, is begging, please stop. Where do you put that? Where, where do you put that in the recesses of your mind while you're hitting them and punching them? Where do you put that? Do you see them like a, an inanimate object? A piece of wood? A piece of iron? What, what causes this disconnection? Because they're going to claim that. But yet they continue to do it. Are they deaf? They can't hear the pleas and the cries? Are they blind that they can't see the person in distress if they can't hear? I don't know what tasting, feeling, smelling. <coughs> they can't smell the chemical as they're pouring into the environment. But it would be distressing to them, much less to another human being. It doesn't matter what this person has done or what they are claiming the person did in the mind just to get, pump themselves up. My point is, there's two things. is what they bring to the table and what's actually happening with what they bring to the table. Now, lack of empathy or lack of logic what else is there? It's the superiority in this in this particular individual that I must know. It's an, an act of mercy. Like he has to come off his high horse or wherever he ascended to. And I must understand it's a it's a it's like an act of mercy from him to me to stop. And I must know my place. I must know my place. You understand? This is this is how, this is what the impression I'm getting. Now I'm not here to actually go through this whole thing that, that, that this technology being used here. I don't, don't know. I passed all that shit. I know what's happening to me. End of. <coughs> the point is. They have to make you feel like you, like, I guess it's just the way he puts it. The way he puts it, and he, he says it, but he doesn't do anything. He doesn't make a change. He doesn't make any, any difference because he doesn't stop. I'm still getting hacked. I'm still smelling this shit. My nose inside is raw right now, right here, just right here. It just, just scabs. Scabs. How the fuck does that happen? And that feeling of being tilted forward. And I'm still smelling like kerosene. <coughs> and my nose has this cooling effect all the time. No. I don't do drugs. I've never found drugs in my environment. To say, well, I have like a a different personality that takes over and is a raging drug addict. So I can find drugs somewhere. But she she goes out and she buys drugs. I have no idea. So, where is it coming from? I'm in the house all the time. Where is it coming from? Where is it coming from? No. But I'm making this video because I, I can't stand this superiority complex of this individual. And I must know my place in that he is showing me mercy that he never really shows. He just likes to hear himself 
talk about how superior he thinks he is. You catch a woman, I guess. You pin her down. Because what I want is to show people how easily somebody could become a prisoner in freedom land by destroying everything they try to accomplish including their existing relationships how easily you could victimize someone subtly but the effects are very very real and disastrous for the person we're all gonna die one day do they have to make our lives this painful and pointless? Where everything we do is just a struggle. This was mentioned to me by a psychic back in 2019. When some man was around some woman. I was assuming it was a couple next door. But she, all she did was went into survival mode. All she could go is in survival mode. This might have been a situation like this. They always, always mention somebody watching the house, hovering over you like a police officer. I don't know. I don't know. Watching the house, like hovering over you, hovering over you. I don't know if it was hovering over me or, or her. I don't know. If it was her, why I came into it, I don't know. There's some trickery somewhere in this. I, I don't know what it is. But they don't have to hurt me for the trickery. They're just making a lot of waves and hurting people for nothing. And if I die, they're probably going to use what they've done here to hurt somebody else. Because this is pretty much what they do. While they claim they're waiting for someone to actually take them out or put them down or... When I say put them down, or incapacitate them, or, or get them locked up. But at the same time, they do whatever is necessary to keep themselves from that happening to them. They incapacitate you and then wonder, well, why are you not doing anything? For me, that would get boring after a while. For these people, no, they're not. Because it's the same thing over and over and over and over and over. Which means the act of doing that is where the pleasure lies with them. Simple. To the point. Pointless. But painful for the person. For them. Well, they've just won the lottery. I guess it takes all kinds. I don't know the people you're dealing with, but these ones have a superiority complex to an extreme. It might be a shared, a shared trait amongst most of them, or if not all. 